Captain Luke Picard may have been able to travel faster than the speed of light, but in the real world, it's a fundamental principle of physics that light is as fast as it gets. But scientists in Switzerland now think that the creators of Star Trek just may have been right after all. And our science editor, Lawrence McGinty, uh, joins me now. We're leaving Star Trek to one side. Yep. We may not understand Einstein's theory of relativity, not many of us, but we do know that essential to it is, is the fact that you can't go faster than light. So was he wrong? Well, it, on the face of it, it looks as if uh, he was. Um, I think you need to know a little bit more about these subatomic particles that um, uh, they've been studying. So bear with me for just a second. They're very, very, very odd. They're called neutrinos. They have no mass, so they don't weigh anything. They have no charge. They're not negative or positive. And that means they can pass through almost any uh, material. And what scientists at CERN have been doing, the European laboratory just outside Geneva, is firing them through the mountains to another laboratory called Gran Sasso in Italy, 732 uh, kilometres away. Now, you may say, if they can pass through anything, how can you detect them? And I think we've got some amateur footage which shows the detectors at Gran Sasso. They're big, big plates of lead, which slows down the neutrinos, uh, and sandwiched with photographic plates which record when they arrive. And the results from this are quite amazing. Light would take 2.4 thousandths of a second to make that trip of 732 kilometer, uh, kilometers. Neutrinos do it 60 billionths of a second faster, and that means they're travelling about 6,000 metres a second faster than light. And Einstein said, you can't do that. Well, the scientists, obviously, they want to check this, don't they? They're not absolutely certain that it's right. But if it is right, what are the implications? Well, they're enormous. Uh, the whole fabric of modern physics uh, could start uh, unravelling because um, the fact that you can't travel faster than light is central to practically the whole of science. If that's not true, things like time travel become thinkable. But there's a big, big warning here. They've done this experiment 15,000 times. They've checked every detail of their measurements. But they don't really believe it themselves because they're not claiming a discovery as they're entitled to do. They're having a big meeting this afternoon for other scientists to try and explain it.